Okay, now we're going to create a pie chart based on the, the relative frequency distribution that we calculated before. Uh, so this is for 2016, that's going to involve a pie chart to represent these numbers, okay, the composition of employment in, in Australia in, in 2016. So these numbers, we select them and go to charts and we want to insert what kind of thing do we want, not a column, not a line, we want a pie chart. Okay, so we'll just select one of those and it puts it right there, like before. So let's just go to the edge here and right click again. And after we right click, we'll move the chart and we'll put it onto a new sheet, which we might call, let's say, pie chart for one of their name. And we get something that looks like that. Uh, that's very colourful and fun and interesting, but uh, we need to do better with these, um, with this legend here, don't we? Uh, so like before, uh, with the column graph, we go over to select, and we want to change the category or the axis. I mean, it's not really an axis in this case, but it's the categories that we want to change. So we uh, click there and select the names of the industries for each of the categories like that. And they're now contained in that window. Okay. And we get a pie chart that looks like that. That's not too bad. Uh, what Excel gives us is a range of other interesting options for uh, displaying this kind of information. So here we kind of have to line up the colours, right? And one of the problems with a pie chart when there are so many uh, categories like this is it just looks like a bit of a mess. And so can you really tell, you know, which of these um, little blue boxes here corresponds to this blue or this blue or this blue? Uh, it's not that great in that respect, is it? So we could try some of these different pie chart layouts here. For instance, this one uh, gives us a title, which we should probably uh, whoops, not that, but we should probably edit it and go uh, something like uh, employment, uh, employment percentages, um, we could even spell percentages correctly, percentages in 2016 for, for Australia, we have a title like that. And then what Excel does is um, gives us two pieces of information added to this pie chart. It, it actually displays each of these uh, industries on here and also gives the, the percentages. So to, uh, to be honest, that's still a bit of a mess. There's just so many categories here that it's, it's still quite a, uh, a messy looking picture, but at least you have some chance of being able to look at that and understand what it's trying to tell you. There are other layouts there. You can just randomly explore at your leisure what those other layouts to, to, the, to the pie chart, but that's uh, sufficient to produce something that's, that's readable.